anyone who is in a leadership position knows that they don't do this work by themselves. It is definitely a team effort. It takes a village. And I first want to thank my wife, there she is, <laughs> for allowing me to do amount of time some days, but it's totally worth it. Um, she has also consented to a very polyamorous work relationship. <laughs> <laughs> that includes Tracy Bain and Jackie Bain, so I want to thank them as well. <laughs> and I'm really fortunate to have some uh, mentors of all ages, really that I work with because there are some people who are doing some amazing work in Chicago. And uh, they include Julio Rodriguez people of all ages. And um, it's really important, I want folks to know that you don't have to have anything special to be uh, working in, in community and finding your voice and doing the things that you want to do. You have to find your lane, figure out what you want to do and the contribution that you want to make to the world. It's not rocket science. It takes a lot of diligence sometimes. Sometimes it takes um, some self-medication. <laughs> as long as you're aware of that you're doing. And uh, a lot of recognition of the joy in the world. And I am very fortunate to just be around some amazing people all the time. And I look to many other people who are doing work in other spheres that I may or may not be engaged with. So it's really an honor to be sharing the stage with Judge Sheehan who, um, it's so funny, uh, we had a meeting with her about a year and a half ago, and about an hour into the meeting, she mentions this restorative justice community court, which is a huge deal. But it took 45 minutes to an hour for her to get there, and once she said that, it just changed everything. <laughs> I already adored her, and began to adore her even more to stepping out, for stepping out and doing that amazing work. And then State Representative Kelly Cassidy, who is on the front lines in a, in a different way every single day. And has been doing amazing work, not just in our community as LGBTQ people, but all of the intersectional work that is very important to our community. And that's, I think, the note that I want to leave on, is that it's important for all of us, no matter what we're doing, to step outside of our silos, and look at the work that's happening in other movements and try to be a part of that work because ultimately this work is about uplifting the human race not just us as individuals and it is so important that we figure out what it is that we want to do to contribute to that project and i want to leave you with a quote that i have been using quite a bit since um, a trip that i took um, in November to Israel and the West Bank, where uh, we had the honor of meeting with a rabbi who was doing incredible work under conditions that were not favorable to the work. And when asked, because we went on this trip the day after the election, imagine that. <laughs> and we were all distressed about how we even move forward. And she said, you do the right thing, and you keep doing the right thing, and eventually the current path will emerge. And so that's the faith that I step out on every single day. I don't always know what I'm feeling, but I feel like if I lead from a place of love and trying to do the right thing, it's gonna work out. So thank you.